It's finally here, guys. Summer is upon us and it's time for the pool. It's time for the beach. It's time for fruity drinks with umbrellas. It's time for those tank tops that have the bra in them. Fresh cut grass, longer days, suntan, oh, all the things. I'm gonna give you my top 10 list of beach slash pool essentials to make your summer easy breezy lemon squeezy. For reference purposes, I have a two-year-old, I have a nine-year-old, and I have an 11-year-old. We do a lot of beach excursions by ourselves without my husband, so I have narrowed down my beach bag to pretty much an exact science of things that we can carry ourselves, necessities, what works for us. So hopefully you can just like get a couple good ideas for you, whatever will work for your family. That's the goal. Let's dive in. Okay, so sunblock. Obviously, everyone has to have sunblock in their beach bag. It's a must have. I have a little bit of a mom hack on sunblock, especially if you have girls, although it work for boys too. And if your kids are not exactly in love with putting on sunblock. My girls used to like fight me on putting on sunblock until I discovered that they loved glitter sunblock. And when I Googled glitter sunblock, there is a lot of really expensive glitter sunblocks and that was not my jam. But I did find some by Coppertone and this stuff works really, really well. We've been using it for probably like three years now. Anytime we go anywhere and other kids see this sunblock, they just want to use it. So this is a must have for my girls. The good news is it comes in SPF 50, it comes in SPF 30, and this is like a lotion based sunblock with iridescent glitter. The glitter is not abrasive. It doesn't like scratch. This year, I also found this, which is the shimmery cool and hydrating it's like a hot it's a gel based so we've been using this with luck we've had no sunburns ever with either of these ew that sounds gross can you hear that anyway it's an excellent sunblock both versions the lotion and the gel i found them at walmart target um marshall's i got these at marshall's for five dollars a piece um i believe they're eight dollars a piece at walmart or target they do sell it on amazon i think it's a little bit more expensive okay now to pivot to the younger crowd i usually use water babies um this is 50 but it does come in 30 also and i also use the lotion version and i do make my girls use this on their face rather than the glitter stuff just because this is supposed to be like tear free and nobody wants sunblock in their eyes. That is a day ruiner. I also keep some spray in there. Typically we start with lotions and then sprays are perfect for touch-ups. I'm not a spray fan. I know some families have really good luck with applying the spray and not getting sunburned. Anytime I use the spray, we've gotten sunburns. I know you're still supposed to rub it in. I've tried everything. I just, I don't know. I don't trust the spray. I use it for touch-ups because nobody wants like a deep exfoliation once they've been rolling around in the sand all day. It's great for shoulders. It's great for kids top of their heads, but we don't rely on that as like the primary sunblock for a full day at the beach. Next item on my list are Turkish beach towels. I know what you're thinking. It sounds super bougie, but this is one of the better things that I've invested in. And by investment, I think they were like $20. So it wasn't like crazy, crazy investment. Every single year, I would bring our four beach towels. And this is one beach towel wrapped up. Four beach towels in my beach bag. And basically it would take up all the real estate in my bag. Well, I found these Turkish beach towels pretty much the exact same size and look how small this little guy is. He wraps up so tiny. I can pretty, I mean, if I'm being conservative, I would say two of these towels equals one, one beach towel. I can bring four towels and it's really the real estate of two towels, if I do that math correctly. And I will say this towel is old. It's been washed like a million times. So it's definitely flatter than a new fluffy towel. These things are absorbent. This is probably like year three and it's so, so soft. When you buy it, they're a little bit firmer. And then the more you wash them, the softer they get and they're just so much easier to wrap up so tiny and stick into your beach bag and then you have so much room for other things also when I wanted to tell you I was looking on Amazon earlier and I saw this really cute like pink leopard one and when I clicked on the reviews it was saying this is not a Turkish towel this is a cotton towel so PSA make sure if you're looking for a Turkish towel you check the reviews to make sure that it's a true I guess Turkish towel I guess they are like a specific type of material or something they are not microfiber 
fiber. Microfiber, I, I hate microfiber. It sticks to my hands and feet. I don't think it's absorbent. I don't think it's soft. I know some people like it. Drop a comment if you also hate microfiber because I don't know what it is. I just don't like microfiber. Item number three is going to be specifically for my smaller human toting crew, toddlers, babies. It's called the California Beach Tent and it is an absolute lifesaver. I took a gamble on this thing and it has paid off tenfold. It is super light. It's easy peasy to open up and to close. My kid slept in this thing on the beach every single day. He happily played in it for hours. It was an absolute lifesaver. You are a mom bringing more than one kid to the beach or if you're just bringing a toddler and you want somewhere to contain them, this is a must have. And if you're interested, I could do a totally separate video on this item because it does come with a ton of other accessories. I've got a mattress for it and a mattress cover. It also comes with like a, a tent, like a canopy tent cover. In terms of using it on the beach, those things were kind of unnecessary. It does have a bottom to it. Like it's like a thin tent type of material. So that was really all you needed for the beach. When you put the cover on it, it kind of makes it real stuffy. So we preferred to use it without the cover. It had lots of great airflow. It was really, really worth it. So if you're interested in having like another video on that, definitely drop a comment below. It has been an essential for us for beach going. Next item on my list was the wet bag. And now the wet bag, I'm kind of like new to. Uh, we didn't have these when my older two were younger, at least that I knew of, but it has been an absolute dream. I used to use just like disposable grocery bags, but now that you have a wet bag, you kind of save environment that kind of stuff. So you can put wet diapers, wet swimsuits, anything that you don't want to get the rest of your beach bag contaminated or wet, you could just stick it in here. And then this bag's washable and it's waterproof. It has that like water resistant interior. And it folds up really, really tiny. It takes up absolutely no room in your bag. Very handy. Next item on my list is the net bag. I got this at a little beach store down at the beach. You can probably buy them on Amazon for very, very cheap. It has just been so much easier to drag this thing around on the beach rather than one of those large like sand bucket basket things that you put all your sand toys in. You just stick all the sand toys in this larger net bag and then you can shake it out. It has like all the holes in it because it's hence a net and then it, you can shake all the sand out and everything and it's just so much easier for the kids to actually carry to your spot on the beach rather than those big bulky baskets. I have a few bonus items for you. I have five bonus items I'm gonna go over real quick. Again, if you have a little person that you're bringing to the beach who still drinks milk, I, for one, fly solo to the beach a lot, so I usually don't bring a cooler because that's just something really, really heavy that me and my kids can't really carry to the beach ourselves. So when we go by ourselves and I don't bring a cooler, I usually fill up water bottles, like those um, insulated water bottles for me and each of my older children. And for the baby, I found these shelf stable milks by Horizon and they are absolutely the best. He was able to take a nap every single day on the beach because he had his bottle and I didn't have to worry about keeping them in a cooler or keeping them cold since they were shelf stable and just stayed at room temperature. Just threw a couple of them in my beach bag and they were good to go. This, not an essential, but a um, definite hashtag worth it. It's a little portable fan. These things are bendable and flexible. You can use it for your stroller while you're at the beach. We actually hooked it to the top of the, the tent for the baby while he was sleeping. And even when he fell asleep, I like stuck it up on, it, on his legs like this, kind of blowing right on his face so that he stayed cool and he actually napped for a normal nap length. And if you're on the beach and you're trying to get your baby to sleep, this could be a game changer for you. Or you could use it yourself. Also, this little waterproof phone bag. I use it as a waterproof phone bag. I put this around my neck if I'm standing in the surf trying to like pop out my phone and take pictures of my kids and then I stick it back in here in case there's like an emergency you have to like jump in or I get hit by a wave then my phone's protected. But then what I would also do, and I know this is gonna be controversial, a lot of you are gonna be like, ew, screen time at the beach. But guess what? When you're solo at the beach with three kids and you gotta keep your toddler entertained because you gotta watch the other two in the ocean like a hawk, you will do anything. So I would throw my phone in here, hop on Coco Melon, toss it in my little baby tent where I knew my toddler was contained and it would buy me lots of time. He would typically drink his bottle, watch some Coco Melon, fall asleep. It was 
Hashtag worth it. Umbrella. I've rented umbrellas. I have brought tents. I've rented chairs. We've brought chairs. We've tried every combination to figure out what's the most efficient and cost effective and easiest thing for us. And I got this new umbrella this year for Christmas. It's really not much bigger than like a golf umbrella in terms of size. And it's super lightweight. My 10 year old was able to carry it to the beach. And it's just this, it's called a sport umbrella. And basically what it is, it's like a tent umbrella hybrid thing so you can anchor it into the ground and use it as a regular umbrella and I think the one I got was eight foot diameter eight foot or you can just lay it on the beach and anchor it and then it has like these two flaps that open up so you get some like air circulation because you know when you're in like a tent it's kind of like stuffy so I haven't used it as an umbrella yet only because I feel like I need someone with a little bit more muscles to like get it into the sand but we've been using it as like just like a setup tent and opening the flaps and getting some circulation and it's been so convenient. Again, it's super light. My 10 year old was able to carry it to the beach and she's not like, she didn't even complain. So there's that. There was a variety. There was also a variety of colors and different diameters. I think there was six foot. I think there was like up to nine foot on Amazon. Okay, this last one is a bit of a stretch in terms of beach essentials. But if you have walked on the beach during the middle of the day, you know that the sand can literally feel like you're walking on flaming coals. And everybody is wearing these cloud shoes and I've been wearing them to the beach and they are so convenient. I'm going to buy my daughter a pair for when we go to the beach next time because you're just like elevated. You're a little bit elevated. They're a little bit easier to walk in the sand than flip flops because they don't like dig in with your toes. One thing to note is you cannot leave them in the direct sunlight because they will shrink. I learned that the hard way. They're a similar material to Crocs, so they don't get sinky. They don't uh, rub or get ruined from like the water or anything like that. They're not like the most attractive looking shoes, but they're very on trend right now. So it's not like, it's not like a weird shoe that you will never like be embarrassed to wear in front of people. So it's not anything like that. They come in a ton of colors and they're very affordable and there's a million different brands on Amazon. I hope that this video was helpful. I hope you have at least been inspired by one takeaway and it helps you have an easier packing, carrying all your gear to the beach situation. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.